Hola, my name is Charles Cumming. I'm a writer from the UK, uh, visiting Barcelona for the Barcelona Negra Festival. I'm the author of Complot in Istanbul, which is being published by Salamandra. I just wanted to say hello to all the readers from Salamandra. It's a great pleasure to be here in Spain. Complot in Istanbul is the second novel in a trilogy of spy thrillers about Thomas Kell. The first book is called In un País Extraño, forgive my pronunciation. Uh, the second novel finds Kell on the trail of a mole in British intelligence, a, a traitor within Western intelligence, I should say. Um, and his personal life is in considerable turmoil. And while he's in Istanbul, he falls in love. Complot in Istanbul is uh, an homage to an extent uh, to a very famous novel by John le Carre called Tinker Tailor, Soldier Spy, which is a story of uh, George Smiley searching for a mole inside British intelligence. Um, and I was always enthralled by this uh, classic of the genre and wanted to do my own 21st century version. So Kell, Thomas Kell, the hero, is looking for a traitor within Western intelligence, either in MI6 or in the CIA, and he runs him to ground in Istanbul. Uh, some novels I, I love, uh, written by a British writer called Eric Ambler, who was operating probably most successfully in the 1930s and 1940s. I don't know if he's uh, published here in Spain, uh, but his, his books typically feature an ordinary man, an engineer or uh, an accountant who finds himself thrust into the world of espionage and intrigue. So I would strongly recommend Journey into Fear or The Mask of Demetrius. But uh, Ambler wrote many books and, and they're really the sort of the first serious political spy thrillers. And Len Dayton and John le Carre and all the rest of us have learned a lot from Eric Ambler. I'm currently reading a wonderful American novel, uh, A Gentleman in Moscow by Amor Tolls, which is, I believe, published by Salamandra. I think he's a fantastic writer. And I've even made the Latvian stew uh, that features early on in the novel, and I can say that it's absolutely delicious.